The Andalusian horse is one of the most ancient of horse breeds and also one of the rarest. Originally bred since prehistory on the Iberian Peninsula, this great horse is depicted in cave paintings dating back 25,000 years. In modern Spain, this ancient Iberian horse is known as the pure Spanish horse, and in Portugal as the purebred Lusitano. However, this horse is known the world over as the Andalusian, as at one time the horse was bred in high concentration in the southern district of Spain known as Andalusia. The thread common to the majority of Iberian breeders is their understanding of what made this horse a recognizable breed type, common to both Spain and Portugal. Today, the Andalusian is bred all over the world. In America, the International Andalusian and Lusitano Horse Association is the official breed registry recognized by the United States Equestrian Federation. An Andalusian registered with the IALHA must trace back their lineage directly to Spain, Portugal, or both. Today, Andalusians are competing and winning in international competition as dressage, show jumping, and driving horses. As one of the world's first purebred horses, the Andalusian crosses well with all modern breeds. The IALHA maintains the registry for half Andalusian horses. A registered half Andalusian must have one purebred Andalusian parent, and the other parent can be of any breed or origin. In the USA, the Andalusian horse, because of his athletic abilities, beauty, and wonderful disposition, is a natural choice for the American horseman. Andalusian horses are unique and versatile performance horses with exceptionally strong bones, legs set well under the body that aids them in their instant maneuverability and flexibility, good slope to the shoulder, deep heart girth, round, powerful haunches, and gaits that are smooth without sacrificing agility and strength. Perhaps one of the best qualities of the Andalusian horse is its intelligence and willingness to work, along with a kind and forgiving disposition. The breed specifications for the Andalusian horse in America were written to encompass both the Spanish and Portuguese standards. These standards are very similar in both countries. The IALHA is dedicated to the preservation of the traditional and unique qualities of the Andalusian horse as it has been bred for many centuries. Type is the sum total of those essential breed characteristics that make a breed of horse unique and instantly recognizable. Andalusian type clearly distinguishes the Andalusian horse from all other breeds. The head is the single most important visible trait of any pure breed. The conformation of the head usually follows through into the overall body type of the horse.
Horses with concave head characteristics usually have a straighter and lighter body type. Horses with round or convex head characteristics will usually have a round or convex body type. Horses with angular, heavy head characteristics usually have angular and heavy body lines. Form produces function. So, an Arabian horse, with its concave head characteristics, that follows through with a straighter and lighter body, tends to produce a long, low way of going. This type of horse is designed to go very long distances with a minimal amount of effort. A draft horse's body type with its steep angles was designed to pull loads requiring strength but not speed and agility. And delusions with their round head characteristics that follow through into a round or convex body type results in producing round movement. This horse is capable of coiling his back and loins to reach under himself with such power that it elevates and lightens the front end. History tells us that Andalusian horses and Arabian horses evolved as war horses. So why are they so different? The Andalusian horse was used in hand-to-hand -hand combat and developed strength and flexibility to move effortlessly and instantly in any direction, while Bedouin warfare consisted of raids requiring a horse that could handle the long distances and maintain the speed needed to flee to safety at the end of the raid. The first impression of an Andalusian from the profile of the head to the croup and the style of the movement is round. This basic form is what gives the Andalusian horse the physical capabilities that are unique to the breed. Superior collection and agility with power and control. There is no other breed that can so easily and without effort engage the hind quarters, flex its entire body, and be able to move in any direction, at any time, in any gait. These horses not only excel in these capabilities, but also have the mental attitude that allows them to turn on in a heartbeat, and also to do the reverse, turn off in a heartbeat. The Andalusian head appears dry, well-defined, and of handsome beauty. It is of medium size, semi-convex or straight in profile, with the frontal bone always slightly in front of the arch of the eyebrow in profile, and slightly in front of the nostrils. The general shape of the head is rectangular with a long jaw that is not overly pronounced. The ears are attached slightly lower on the sides of the head than on other breeds. Mares sometimes have longer ears. The eyes should be alive and alert triangular in outline with soft orbital arches. This shape gives the appearance of a permanently raised eyebrow. The mouth is of medium length and the upper lip seems a little longer than the lower lip, finely chiseled and mobile. The nostrils are another important breed characteristic. Unlike other breeds, which have round nostrils, the Andalusian has elongated nostrils with a tendency to form a parallel line with the profile of the muzzle. The neck should be of medium length. 
One of the contributing factors that gives the Andalusian horse its unique round appearance is that the neck achieves its characteristic arch by the processes of the third and fourth vertebras, which make the arch more accentuated towards the middle part of the neck. If the neck is very curved towards the head, the second cervical vertebra, as in the Arabian horse, it is called a swan neck and is not a desirable characteristic for an Andalusian as it tends to make the neck somewhat less stable for the instant changes of direction required when doing work for which the Andalusian horse was bred. Medium length is ideal. If the neck is too short, its flexibility is limited, particularly in the pole, and does not allow for a sufficient arch. If the neck is excessively long, it is difficult for a rider to stabilize the horse's center of gravity. The withers should be pronounced and muscular. The ideal body has a continuous rounded top line. The neck melts into the withers and the loins into the croup. The mane and tail should be long, thick, and silky. The true arm. It should be of moderate length and directed towards the back and parallel to the body. This length and direction is what gives the impression that the forearm starts further back and makes the chest so prominent in appearance. It is also an important element in the superior ability of the Andalusian horse to lift his front legs and extend them with power and spring, yet remaining very soft and supple in his gaits. The forearm is a little shorter, which corresponds with elevated and soft action. Therefore, the cannon bone is a little longer than in other breeds. This is what helps give the Andalusian the lift and extension in the front legs. The back should be of medium length, straight, flexible, and with a good muscling. The hind leg should have a long thigh with a stifle somewhat low and with good angles. This enables a strong coiling of the hindquarter that helps produce very powerful suspension. The croup should be rounded viewed from the side and from the rear. The round croup denotes a rounded sacrum that aids the hindquarters to flex and carry weight well. The tail should be set low and carried between the buttocks. The tail carriage is another important characteristic of the Andalusian horse. It must be carried close to the body, not elevated like an Arabian horse. The tail carried close to the body goes along with a soft, supple back and loins. Movement. We know that the Andalusian was developed as a war horse. A war horse's primary gait was the canter or gallop. In battle, the Andalusian needed to be collected with the forehand light and the hind legs well underneath itself. Its joints had to be flexed and ready for action, its back slightly arched upward, storing a tremendous burst of power for that instant use. It was required to leap and dodge and spin and charge, constantly moving. The Andalusians were later used as mounts of choice for kings and royalty and for working the fierce fighting bulls of the Iberian Peninsula. 
They became the horse of choice because of their noble appearance and dynamic movement, agility, and bravery, and also because of their docile temperament. The USEF rulebook guidelines for movement tell us that the walk is a four-beat gait and should show as much overreach of the front hoof print by the hind hoof print as possible. The trot should be animated with emphasis on extension. The important thing to keep in mind when looking at movement is that the gait must be round, in balance, with rhythm and cadence. The movement must originate from the hindquarters. It is not how much elevation the horse exhibits, but that they move in total balance and with correctness of gait. When viewing movement from the side, the total picture should be round, from the head following through the neck and back, and through the hindquarters to the tail. In the USA, the IALHA is the guardian of the rare and wonderful Andalusian horse. This guardianship requires us to understand the type, conformation, and disposition of the breed as it has been handed down to us from generations of development. There are many breeds in the world, each with its own slightly different conformation. The broad spectrum of saddle horse conformation is bounded by the Arabian horse on one end and the Andalusian horse on the other end. Every breed in between is a blending of these two conformation types. Upon careful examination of Andalusian type, conformation, and disposition, it becomes clear that they must be strictly adhered to in order to preserve the Andalusian horse for generations of horsemen to come. <laughs>